Hello everyone, and welcome to Crazy Cannons, as developed by Sam Glendening, third year computing student. This is the game I have created for my game's programming module. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, we have a host of options here, play, instructions, settings and exit. Settings provides everything you should need to know about how to play the game. Feel free to pause at various points if you wish to read on. Settings can be changed as you so please. Music can be turned off. And back on again. Same with the sound effects. I will play with the music off right now so that you can better hear me. Later on I'll put the music back on so you can hear that. Right now let's just get started. So, here we are in gameplay. Goal is to launch your person as far as you can. The further you go, the more money you get. This little weapon up here, up the top right, that's uh, that's fully upgradable. That can be used to click on the player with the Wii target, as shown, and it will give you a small boost. It has five ammo that can be replenished with ammo restocks. Right, without further ado, hold down the left mouse button to charge up, and charge down, and get up to about 100%, and away we go. And that was the first launch, just like that. Not very powerful, this cannon, however, it can be upgraded. Or we can click on the player, and we can give him a little bit of a boost as they go. That was a jetpack man there. If he hit us, he would have given us a small boost as well. There are enemies floating around in places, but also hazards that can stop you dead if you hit into them. And there we go. In that round, we got a new record. We traveled just over a kilometer. We did hit that jetpack man apparently, and um, we earned ten thousand pounds in that round. Pretty good. Let's do another one just for demonstration purposes. Click on the player. You'll notice the target gets bigger and turns red when I click on them, and then we noise plays to indicate that I've hit the player. Game can be paused, like so put the music back on if we want or we can carry on or relaunch or exit there were some spikes there that's a hazard if we'd hit that we would have come right to a stop there's a chomper coming up yeah the very edge of the screen there you can see a chomper if we'd hit into him he would have gobbled us up and that would have been the end of that as well let's visit the shop Right, in the shop we can purchase upgrades as we so please. These are skin upgrades, they are purely cosmetic, don't do anything to the actual gameplay, but these, the launchers, certainly do. They launch you with more power, and the more you pay, the better the launcher. Same with the guns, the guns give you a bit more force with every click, depending on which one you have, uh, with the golden deagle giving you the most force. We currently don't have enough money, as you can see at the top right, to purchase anything meaningful right now, so I will pause and come back when we have enough money to demonstrate a purchase. Right, we have returned, and this time we have enough money to buy a new launcher, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase the gold launcher. There we go, that's unlocked, I can chop and change back between them as I wish. But this is the gold launcher selected, and this should give us a bit more power. Yep. It did give us a small bit more power there. Just enough to help us go a bit further. We're in space now. Notice that... Oh, I nearly I nearly got to show it off there. If he goes above the top of the map, a small icon will display showing how high up he is above the top of the map, indicating where he is. Data can indeed be saved and deleted, so if we exit here it should save automatically. And I will exit and I'll go back on. And we should still have all our money once we go back on. There's a launcher. Save the launcher. And there's all our sweet dollar dollar dollar. Lovely. Well, that is the demonstration of my game concluded. I hope you enjoyed uh, Crazy Cannons. And hopefully you'll give it a try yourself. Thanks for watching.